Are you looking for the best cheap printers? In this video we will look at some of the best cheap printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Canon Pixmer G3270. Most low-priced multifunction inkjets have high running costs. In other words, they are cheap to buy, but you can wind up spending a pretty penny on ink. The Canon Pixmer G3270 is an exception, it's reasonably affordable and also cheap to operate. Its ink comes in bottles and is rated at nearly 6,000 mono text pages and 7,700 color pages for the starter set of cyan, yellow, magenta, and black ink you get. For any ink you buy beyond that, the cost per page works out to 0.3 cent per mono text page and 0.8 cent per color page. At less than a penny per page, whether color or monochrome, the cost per page for the ink is clearly the big appeal here. At impressive looking output given the price, plus a flatbed for light duty copying and scanning, and you get lots of high quality output for very little money. The G3270 isn't especially speedy, and its paper capacity is only 100 sheets for its single input tray. But the low purchase price and low running costs make it a solid pick for light to medium printing homes and home offices that aren't daunted by filling it with paper often to reap the savings. Number 2. Canon Pixmer TR4720. If you're on a rock bottom budget and don't print enough for a bulk ink or tank based printer's low running costs to pay off in the long run, Canon's cartridge based Pixmer TR4720 may be the printer you're looking for. This four function AIO, print, copy, scan, and fax uses black and tricolor ink cartridges. It offers a 100 sheet paper capacity, a 20 sheet automatic document feeder. ADF, and connects to mobile devices as well as to PCs via Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct, or USB. Unless you're exceptionally picky, its output, while sluggish, is suitably high quality. Putting pages on the scanner glass one at a time makes copying long documents no fun, so anyone who has to scan, copy, or fax multi-page documents will appreciate getting an ADF with such an inexpensive printer. If you print a lot, particularly in color, the TR4720 can tear through ink cartridges at an alarming rate, quickly eating up the savings from its low initial price. But if you don't need more than about 100 prints per month, this little gem can serve nicely. Number 3. Pantom P2502W. If you absolutely must have a laser printer, for crisp text that won't smudge from highlighters or a few stray drops of water, for example, but are short on dollars and desk space, the Pantom P2502W may be the answer. This miniature monochrome printer can cost as much as $99, but its price varies from day to day, just $85 on Amazon at this writing. Smaller than many inkjet printers, with a footprint of just 13.3 by 8.7 inches, it delivers suitable paper handling for a personal printer thanks to a 150 sheet paper tray and manual duplexing. It also offers a choice of toners, with one cartridge that Pantom says delivers better print quality and another that offers a lower cost per page. It didn't score well on graphics output in our tests, but it yielded decent speed and text quality plus good photo quality for a mono laser. The P2502W supports Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to a network for sharing and put it anywhere you'd like, but its low paper capacity, manual duplexing, and relatively high costs per page, even with the more economical toner, make it a poor choice as a high-volume shared printer. Its natural home is sitting on your desk as a solid choice for a personal mono laser. Number 4. Kodak Mini 3 Retro. The retro part of the name of Kodak's Mini 3 Retro Pocket Size Photo Printer refers to its ability to print 3-inch square images that are either borderless or have narrow white borders like old-time drugstore prints. We think the former option looks sharper, but both kinds look great thanks to the Kodak's 4-pass dye sublimation technology, which delivers far better output quality than the zero-ink, zinc, output of many compact photo printers. The Mini 3 Retro is available in three colors, white, yellow, and black, and two prices, 
a $141.99 a version that comes with a die roll and enough media for 8 prints and a $156.99 a version that comes with enough for 68 prints. Refills are available in 30, 60, and 90 print packs that you load by simply sliding them into the printer. The Retro connects via Bluetooth and prints from both Android and Apple phones and tablets, but not from PCs or Macs. It's not the only die sub game in town, HP and Canon offer bulkier models that print larger pics, but if you're content with 3 by 3 instead of 4 by 6 inch snapshots, it's a fun, nifty smartphone companion. Number 5. Epson Labelworks LW PX300. This isn't your grandfather's demo label maker. The Epson Labelworks LW PX300, $59 alone, though the $89 kit with accessories is a better deal, can produce everything from standard plastic stick-on labels to promotional refrigerator magnets to heat shrink tube tapes for electrical, phone, or data cables. It's an easy-to-use handheld gadget with a small QWERTY keyboard, it doesn't connect to a PC or phone that works on either battery or AC power. Even better, it prints on clear or colored plastic tapes up to 0.71 inch wide as well as several specialty tapes, including silver mat, strong adhesive tape, fluorescent tape, and the above-mentioned heat shrink and magnetic tapes. Most come in a variety of colors and widths, giving you more than 80 tapes to choose from. The LW PX300 can't print graphics, though it has a library of barcodes and symbols for industrial and professional use, and it prints pretty slowly. But its labels look great and work fine. It's ideal for light-duty industrial-style labeling for, say, switches or cables whether for work or hobbies. And Epson throws in the ultimate sweetener, a lifetime warranty that even covers accidental breakage.